Hey guys, Jason Colanche from Shallon Productions. Sorry, I'm a little sick, so my intro's a little, like, you know, blah. But yeah, um, I just want to tell you guys, go like our Facebook page. Link's in the description below. You know, keep updated with all our stuff. You leave your suggestions over there, because I know you guys are a little shy in the comment section below. But, um... Yeah, go, go, you know, talk to other people's pretty cool page. Um, so yeah, um, there's gonna be the sneak peek, and then there's gonna be like a little deck profile I'm making right now. So yeah, go check it out. Later. Hey guys, Jason Gallant here from Shallon Productions, and it's so quiet in here. It's never been this quiet, so I'm kind of whispering. I know. Oh my god. So, we get, I'm here for sneak peek for Vanguard, and it is for. Seal Dragons Unleashed, set 11. So for the promo, it is, bam, Wingo Liberator. <gasps> There's his effect. So a little cool sneak into uh, set 10. Let's get oh into the packs. Oh my. <laughs> Aqua, Tetra? Oh, or not Tetra, I'm sorry, uh, Revlon? Nope. Transport. Transport? I can't, I can't remember their names. I want it. Ooh. Oh, let's pronounce the cards. I forgot. This is a new set. Seal Dragon Cursey. Battle Siren Euphoria. Is that SP? Ancient Dragon Dino Crown. Seal Dragon uh, Sharding. And Essence Celestial Becca. Oh, there it is. It's a good day. It is a good day. Next up, we have Seal Dragon Terra Claw. Dragon Dancer Julia. You generally don't want it to be a trigger. Red Pulse Draco Kid. Encourage the last seal Tamiel. And Titan of the Beam Cannon Tower. Nice. <laughs> You're so happy. <laughs> Look. Sneak peek pulls all day. Good job, Nick. I like how the triple ram looks like uh, SP. SPs from set one. I love it. Just without the Demonic actual. Dragon Mage Sagara. Seal Dragon Spike Hell Dragon. Seal Dragon uh Cord Cord Duroy. <laughs> Corduroy? No. <laughs> Celestial Landing Pegasus. And we got a perfect guard for Seal Dragons. Nice. Yeah. I need two. It's kinda of fun. Out of my other pack. I'm getting it. And next pack is Flag of Ragin Corpusant, Mercenary Brave Shooter, Booting Celestial Sandalophon, <laughs> Seal Dragon Dobby. It looks and cool. Dobby. And another perfect guard for Ancient Dragons. Nice. <laughs> Two perfect guards. <laughs> well, so, uh, someone's going to have defense for days at say Sneak. Yeah. Yeah. Sneak. Yarpoo. Then for what? <laughs> next pack we have Advanced Party Brave Shooter, Order Celestial Yukon, Crimson Witch Radish, and Seal Dragon Belia with Rare Savage Hunter. Oh man, last pack, SP. Last pack, SP. That'd be crazy. It's edgy. Go for it. Ancient Dragon Tripla, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> kind of started. <laughs> Silent, <Lord. laughs> Silent Ripple uh, Sotiro. Ancient Dragon uh, Gatlin Garo. Ooh, heal trigger. Nice. What Recovery Celestial mm -hmm. Ramiel. And, aw, no SP, but not bad. Starting Ripple Aklas. So we got two perfect guards. So those are my pulls. I can't wait to see what the other guys pull. Not going to say anything? Oh, I, 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 those I, were awesome. Are you just doing it? Yeah. Those are actually really awesome. Though. Defense for days at today's sneak peek. All these fries. So oh, next up will be Joe or Sharia. Yeah, Sharia. I'm up next. Hey guys, Jake Scott here from Shallon Productions, and I'm just gonna do a little like cool little thing that I thought of. Um, since I won the sneak preview tournament, um, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a deck profile, the deck I used for the sneak preview. Um, you know, it's going to be a quick little thing. Um, so yeah, I won first place and I got the mat. So that's really awesome. It's a really cool mat. But yeah, let's get started with the deck profile. First up, for our starter, we have Red Pulse Draco Kid. He's really good because um, you're able to search for a grade 3. So you're not you're not grade stuck. And he's a 4k, which isn't a bad booster. But uh, his effect really came in real handy when uh, you know, you're know you stuck at 2 or something. Or, uh, you know, 
you don't have a grade three easy search and next up we got a whole bunch of starters actually um i didn't really use their effects except for uh let's see for him i think i used it twice to get that extra 3k uh attack but overall i couldn't use the other guys because uh Let's see, he's part of the right chain, and I didn't have any uh, Seal Dragon Vanguards to actually use his effect. So, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I don't have Kagero Vanguards. Or, yeah, I didn't have any, like, Seal Dragons to flip over. Um, and then we have Advanced Party Shooter. I couldn't use his effect either. <laughs> um, so, mainly, I was using these guys for 10k shields. So, Seal Dragon Terry Cloth. Starting Ripple Alex and Flag of Raging uh, Corpusant. Next up for our triggers, we had uh, one crit. <laughs> we only pulled one crit, so yeah, only one crit. And then next up, we have two heals, uh, one of each. We have Recovery Celestial Ramuel and Seal Dragon Shirting. They're pretty cool. <clears throat> I personally like the Celestial one a little better. Because uh, she looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little like sick. <laughs> um, next up, we have our draw triggers. Well, our a draw trigger. <laughs> um, we had Celestial Landing Pegasus. He looks pretty cool. Um, I didn't really get him all that much. I think I got him twice. Not too much. Next up, we had two stand triggers. And uh, they're both vanillas. So. Encourage Celestial Tamiel and Seal Dragon Dobby. So yeah, we had vanilla triggers. So they look pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you're gonna guys are gonna notice this, but uh, I got ones of each of like everything. <laughs> I, I didn't get any duplicates, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> you guys know how I like the one ofs. <laughs> so next up, we got two perfect guards. Actually, we got one for Seal Dragon. And we got one for Ancient Dragons. Nice. I know for um, Sneak Peek, that was really good. And then we have uh, Mercenary Brave Shooter. He was really good because uh, I was able to use his effect multiple times. He's a 10k attacker. If uh, you have two or less rear guards in Rust, I believe. Yep. Next up, we have Ancient Dragon uh, Triplasma. He was awesome. Um, I'll, I'll show you guys like a combo I had with him. <laughs> it was really funny actually but yeah he's a 10k attacker if you have an ancient dragon vanguard next up we have order celestial uh yugon or yukon and um i never got to use the effect because uh yeah <laughs> never had the the card i needed in damage zone next up we have seal dragon um curse again i didn't have any real like kagero vanguards so yeah <laughs> I couldn't use his effect either. Uh, his effect is uh, discard and draw when he's placed in rear guard circle. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have a 9k uh, booster for any limit breakers for a counter blast. Ooh, her name is Battle Siren Eufor Eu uh, Euphonia. Next up, we have Ancient Dragon uh, Gatling Garo. Uh, what was his effect? I forgot. Oh, um, he got 5k when you retired something at Ancient Dragon. But I didn't really have any ancient dragons to um, attribute, so, so yeah, I had him, but he was really good. I'll show you guys with what. I'll show you the MVP of the deck because this deck was actually really funny. Uh, next up, we have Silent Ripple Satorio. Um, he's part of the ride chain. I didn't have either the two or the three, so I couldn't really use him. Or else I would have used the starter. But yeah, I didn't have either's. So next up we have lastly for our last grade one we had demonic dragon mage Sagara. Just to keep a, a number of the grade ones we had, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten grade ones. Next up for our grade twos, which was actually really scary going into the tournament and was four grade twos. <laughs> but the MVP of the deck is him is Ancient Dragon Dino Crowd. You know why he's the MVP? I always drew him. It was crazy. I only didn't draw him in one game. But man, he was the MVP. This is the only grade 2 I was able to ride the whole tournament. It was actually pretty funny. <laughs> and then next up we have um, 
Essence Celestial Becca. She's pretty cool. Uh, she's a 10k for Celestials. Next up we have uh, Dragon Dancer Julia. She Her effect is that when she's placed in Vanguard or Rearguard, chop the uh, top top card. And if it's a grade 1 or 2, you can superior call it. Not bad. Next up we have Seal Dragon uh, Corduroy. I actually don't know what he does because I actually never use this effect. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, that's not bad. You you destroy you destroy um you counter blast one and you destroy a uh, grade two unit and uh, grade two unit or less, I believe. Yeah, grade two unit and less, and then your opponent looks at the top four top four cards and they can superior call a grade two. So it's not bad, you can retire a booster and potentially make your opponent not have a good calm. So next up, we have our grade 3s. Grade 3s we had a lot. <laughs> Compared to our grade 2s, we had 5, which is a really bad ratio. <laughs> um, I would have preferred... Uh, if I was actually, like, you know, trying to get the deck, um, I would have preferred, you know, a good ratio, because I think last tournament I had a good ratio, and it was no problem winning. But this one is actually really funny because I always <laughs> drew Dino Crowd. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have we didn't have a real Vanguard, like an actual Vanguard. We had all uh, like backup Vanguards. Like uh, we have we have two of him, well with the same effect, but different card. Um, Savage Hunter and uh, Titan of the Beam Cannon Tower. They both get plus five K in the Vanguard circle, and they get uh, plus two K in the Rear Guard circle. And then next up we have um, Seal Dragon Spike Hell Dragon. He gets plus 2k when he's boosted. So that was pretty nice. Uh, I mean, we didn't really get any threatening columns because, uh, <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any AKs. If we did, that would have been awesome. And then next up we have Crimson Wish Radish. Uh, she gets plus 5k when you counter blast too. Not bad for uh, Sneak Peek, but I don't think it's really too viable for, uh, you know, actual decks because she's in Genesis and I think it's too counter blast heavy you have other good effects you can use and then lastly we have um, booting celestial sandalophon he's really cool he got good threatening columns because most of the vanguards in uh, sneak peek were 10k so I was able to get uh, 20k columns with a lot of the 7k's I had so yeah the combo I had constantly <laughs> at the tournament was this it was hilarious, because with the stand triggers, man, that was deadly. It was a 15k attacker, and it was like, bam, bam, bam. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, guys, um, the way the deck worked uh, that I found most efficient was if you went second, you pretty much won, because I don't know if you guys noticed, and we have a ton of grade ones, so you would just go ride 1-1-1 one, one, one to attack, and you usually bully your your opponent, and they couldn't guard because you know in sneak peek you don't have a lot to guard. But usually you don't have a lot to guard with first turn, so you're not expecting a big rush like that. So they would be at three damage. Um, since it's sneak peek, it, uh, you might have not gotten a heal. Uh, my opponents did have heals, but uh, they only healed like once or twice, except for Sharia, which he healed like three times. It was crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, then by grade two, you know. You have the same rush, but you kind of have to back away because they'll probably be a grade 2 by then. So it's not as efficient. So you might want to move back your boosters and just hope you don't get a stand trigger or something. Unless they have a booster, you can, like, like a front row uh, grade 1, you can attack with. Um, now, let's see. And then grade 3, pretty much, you know, there's nothing special after that. Um. The main thing with this deck was the rush and hope you drew Dino Crowd because uh, I didn't really see the other great twos. I think I saw them like once or twice. And if I did see them, it was late game. But it, I didn't really, you know, particularly need them at that time. Because, um, like, the the uh, the great threes were really good. Um, Radish was really good for uh, threatening, like, end games. Because uh, dropping that extra 5k guard was always good. And uh, the starter, he was awesome. Um, he actually always got me a grade 3. There was not one time where he failed me. So that was good. Because, you know, a top 5 and uh, such a small deck is pretty broken. <laughs> but yeah, and then um, lastly, just to go over the whole thing. Uh, we got Wingle Brave. I mean, <laughs> Wingle Brave. Uh, Wingle Liberator. 
as the promo. Um, we weren't able to use him, but um, still pretty cool. He got a promo. And uh, I was really happy I won the mat. So yeah, guys. Um, just lastly, I just wanted to say, um, sorry I haven't been uploading as much. Um, <laughs> I've been really busy, so yeah. <laughs> And, you know, school, I, I'm pretty sure you guys know, I have a lot of work, computer science majors, it's tough. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm going to try to upload a little bit more, because uh, midterms are done, so I should have a lot, a little bit more free time, and able to upload. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is JC Conch, signing out. See ya!